Hello everybody, today I thought I'd take the opportunity to discuss, uh, well, have a quick update on what's going on with my current work. So we're going to start with Dean Norrington, which as you will probably guess, I have not finished yet. Even though I said last in my last vlog, which was quite a few weeks ago, that I was hoping to finish it very soon. And no, I have not finished it. I'm probably about halfway through it at the minute. It just seems to be going on quite a bit. I decided to go back over a few bits, alter quite a lot of it, and that's why it's going on quite a bit longer than I was anticipating. And released, I'm hoping to finish it before the end of this month and hopefully have it all edited and out ready for September and also hopefully it will all be available in paperback. Now, one of my new ones is called Adam and Jennifer. Uh, this one uh, was quite a good idea. I, I think it's a good idea to write about this one. Uh, so Adam, I haven't got a name for his um, girlfriend at the minute, well his ex-girlfriend we'll say. Uh, but the basics is that uh, Adam and his, uh, it, well the girl that he was going out with at the time, we'll call her Claire for this part, we'll call her Claire. So they are constantly arguing, they're a really good couple but at the same time they're always at each other's throats. So one day they're out shopping, she gets in a complete tizzle and then she buggers off and they're starting to argue again he follows her outside and then she gets hit by a car or maybe a bus possibly I'll probably make it a car we don't want it to be too badly mangled do we so uh, it goes to a few years later now oh the whole um, point of their argument is the whole fact that he doesn't want to get engaged he doesn't want to get married he doesn't want to settle down well he wants to settle down but he wants to wait a while before he settles down so that's why she she's just arguing with him and she walks into the road not looking stupid cow and then she just gets hit by a car so it's great <laughs> it's a great idea yeah so apart from that uh, now it's a few years later and now adam's met this girl called jennifer and everything starts going really well no problems there and now he's engaged to jennifer and of course his ex-girlfriend called claire called her claire stick with that good job i remember that so yeah uh, yeah she's obviously jealous uh, since Claire was involved in an accident all those years ago, he hasn't seen her for quite a long time. So when he actually tracks her down, it appears that she's in a wheelchair and her parents are dead. Well, she's a, just a, she hasn't got any brothers or sisters, so she's all on her own now. Uh, her parents died. Um, we'll find more about. We'll discover more about that later. About how they died and etc. etc. Of course. And so she's quite well off now, and he notices that, of course, she's a. Uh, disabled now so it couldn't possibly be her who's breaking into his house and leaving mysterious letters so he starts to look around trying to uncover who it is so he hires a private investigator of course but it's also happening to Jennifer as well and it's also lots of letters to her saying for her to dump to dump uh, Adam and also he's getting letters saying for him to jump uh, to dump Jennifer so it's all going around in a big circle and later on we'll of course we have to find out who it is in the end but could it actually be his ex-girlfriend Claire what do you think do you think it could be her was she actually badly injured in the uh, in the accident or wasn't she actually could it be Jennifer's ex-boyfriend who's going around doing it could he be behind all this could it be Claire and the ex-boyfriend who's also doing it or could it be Adam who's completely psycho or maybe Jennifer is a complete psycho maybe it's all of the above you have to read it to find out. It's going to be great. It will be. Trust me. I mentioned in the last vlog that I'm working on the Rotten Oak and Alessa's Curse. Both of those are going to feature the same demon, which is called uh, Lilith, and also it's obviously going to be featuring a lot of Satanism and witchcraft and ritual um, sacrifices and stuff like that. So with the Rotten Oak, I wanted to show uh, the Satanic cult, which was around in the 1700s and their worship of the demon Lilith as well as a few other demons that was around that, uh, the, that they were worshipping at the time. So with uh, this one there's going to be quite a fair bit of uh, uh, well, murdering children of course as well as um, the demon making women infertile as well as um, they're attacking them whilst they're in the last stages of their pregnancy and also the um, early stages of the newborn child as well also being a target of the demon as well and so when we reach uh, Alessa's Curse which is a the more modern uh, 
sorry, which is the more modern uh, tail that we're going to be working on for that one. It's going to be showing uh, Lilith as a succubus as well as murdering uh, men this time as well as uh, attacking some children and also making women infertile as well as uh, being completely mental and a complete sexual monster, uh, a sexual predator we'll say for this one. Uh, so that one's going to be quite interesting to write about as well as to read, I'm going to enjoy reading that one. There's a fly, it's going to die in a minute. Seriously bugging me, it's been around for bloody hours. I don't have flies. So yeah, we've got uh, a lesser's curse to look forward to. You've got the rotten oak. You've got the um, the whole uh, Norringtons. You've got uh, Killer Lover, which uh, is still very early stages for that one, but that's it's coming along slowly and it'll get there in the end. We've got Adam and Jennifer. You've got the Adventures of Harkle. You've got the damn flipping fly. Sorry, I'll catch it. I will catch it. Stick it on the wall with a bloody trophy. Uh, yeah, you've got quite a lot to look forward to this year. I don't know if I'll get them all done this year. Of course, there's, there's quite a lot to work on, but I'll get most of them done for you anyway. Uh, so the first one will be the Norrington's, which will be finished very soon, followed by what we got here. Yes, I'll have to write it all down. Work on my speech. What we got? Yeah, I'll let you lot decide. What would you like to see first? Uh, uh, well, of course, after this one. The uh, Norrington's, when that's all finished. Uh, what would you like to see? Put in the comments below. Would you like to see Alessa's Curse? Uh, would you like to see the Rotten Oak? Or would you like to see the Sackman, you know, um, from the Shadows, the Sackman, that one? Uh, last month I mentioned one I was working on called From the Shadows. I've kept the name From the Shadows and I've also added on the Sackman. Now with this one, this one is about um, child kidnapping and murders and all that. So with this one I weren't too sure if I should go with a demon entity or a load of people, like a group of uh, a cult or whichever, who are going around kidnapping children and murdering them for their cult, you know, satanic rituals and all that. So I wasn't too sure if I should do that, but I decided to go ahead with it, and I won't tell you if it's a group of uh, cultists or if it's a demon entity that's involved with all the, the whole killing of this uh, community, but it's also a worldwide thing that's going on. So I've thrown in quite a lot of um, information, which is true information about uh, child kidnapping and missing children and stuff like that. So there's also a lot of facts in there apart from all of the um, usual violence that I f like to throw in and also lots of satanic stuff. So yeah, uh, choose between Alessa's Curse, The Rotten Oak or The Sackman. Which one of those would you like to see finish first? Hope you've enjoyed this. See everyone later. Goodbye. How could I forget? Uh, where well, you can follow me of course. Um, you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, on my blog, and also Instagram. Yes, I've got Instagram, and I completely forgot about to mention it last time that I was on. I'll leave the details for those in the description below. See you later. I'm going now. Bye.